Unit Thirty Five: Early African American Cowboys. Although most TV westerns declined to acknowledge it, many of the early cowboys who helped open up the American West were African American. Brave, talented, and resourceful, they had moved to the West either as freed slaves or as Northerners seeking opportunity and adventure. According to one estimate, 25% of the cowboys on cattle drives north from Texas between 1866 and 1895 were black. When the era or the great train drives ended, many continued demonstrating their prowess in rodeos. Bill Pickett is one of the best known of the early black cowboys. Born in 1870, Pickett is credited with inventing the stunt of bulldogging or wrestling a steer to the ground. He first demonstrated the technique in a 1904 rodeo in Cheyenne, Wyoming. It quickly became the staple. In all rodeos, Piquet performed for over 20 years in the Miller's 101 Wild West show. He was inducted into the Cowboy Hall of Fame in 1971. Other black cowboys are known for other skills. J.C. Stale, also the Hall of Fame inductee, was a talented bronco rider. After once placing second in an event where he clearly was the best competitor, Stale mocked the judges by riding a second bronco backward. Nat Love, a former slave from Tennessee, was famous for roping and shooting. Given the name Deadwood Dick, after winning several events in a Deadwood, South Dakota rodeo. Love later wrote an autobiography extolling life in the saddle. These and other lesser non-African American cowboys were forerunners of black rodeo performers who still thrill audiences today.